The Green Slime, 1968, directed by Kinji Fukasaku, starring Robert Horton, Luciana Paluzzi, and Richard Jekyll. The successful mission to blow up an Earthbound asteroid comes with unexpectedly deadly consequences when an extraterrestrial menace stows away and wreaks havoc on a space station. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. I'd actually seen this one once before, so I was excited to revisit it when I got the request to review it for the channel. The cast consists of your typical 60s B-movie space station crew, where no one is terrible, but no one is necessarily memorable either. A love triangle with zero chemistry is introduced between the mains that the Japanese version of this film wisely chose to omit. The real stars of the film are the creatures, though. Instead of being yet another blob film, the titular slime grows into a vicious tentacled threat that feeds on electricity, multiplies quickly, and is incredibly hard to kill. What's fascinating is this is a Japanese-American production. Japanese director, shot in Japan, American actors, as part of a joint venture between Toei Films and MGM Studios. Like other 60s films I've featured, this one also features some gloriously awkward dancing. There's some impressive visuals in this film in spite of being a fairly modest production, including a desperate battle to pick off the creatures that have found their way outside and are trying to eat the hull of the space station. The film also features some charmingly clunky miniature work, courtesy of the rockets and the space station. The special effects were done by Yukio Monoda and Akira Watanabe, who both worked on multiple Godzilla films throughout the 60s and 70s. Research also revealed that the screenplay was worked on by none other than Batman co-creator Bill Finger. Verdict recommended. Book some tickets for this ooze cruise. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.